right, looks nice. Some construction there on those courts, but that will be a nice addition to town when those yes. are done. Mendot Mike's here. We're talking about construction over here, too. Not on the basketball court, though. There is still some construction out on the roadways. He's with the Minnesota Department of Transportation, and we have some construction updates as we head into the fall season. Yeah, we got, you know, summer's over. Uh, everybody's back to school, but construction season is not done. We mm -hmm. still will be going into, you know, kind of that late October time frame, but I thought we'd remind folks again about work zone safety because we're still going going to the Twins game, yes. maybe a playoff game. <laughs> maybe. It's happening, Okay, it's okay, happening. okay, okay. <laughs> you know, go for all sorts of stuff. There's still a lot of travel that we do in the fall, mm -hmm. um, but we'll, with those work zones there, of just, just reminding folks to pay attention, slow down, and, and talk about some other things where we're using some technology just to grab your attention to really focus in on that task of driving. Yeah, so what is some of the technology that's in place? Well, if you go on I-90 um, over, you know, Olmstead County heading east towards Winona, you'll see we've got these uh, new digital message signs. So uh, we can set the speed limit for the work zone when workers are there because okay. it's a long stretch. So it's a digital one. So when workers aren't there, um, they can bump it back up to the normal speed limit. Oh, that's nice. When workers are, we can drop it down. But then it also gives you this feedback. Uh, you know, you've seen your speed. Those and, and that's good because as you come into it, um, you may think you're slowing down, right. but this tells you, gives you a good flash. And so it's just, again, reminding you that that speed set for safety for everybody there. Um, and then when we get over to I-35, we've had some fatal crashes around the Faribault right, area. Yeah. yeah, and you know, over 33,000 vehicles go through there a day, um, mm -hmm. most of them safely. So there've been instances where it just seems like they're not seeing the warning sign where these fatal crashes have been. So uh, we put in some larger portable digital message signs. Okay. Um, starting about five miles out, every mile, um, you get a warning and it's with sensors though. So that sign won't activate unless traffic is truly slowing down or okay. stopped ahead. You know, cause interstate we're going 70 miles an hour. Yeah. Um, if, there's, if there's no slow traffic, you know, you should be okay. But when it is, those signs are activating um, we've also put some temporary rumble strips in right. um, just to get your attention in case you aren't um, looking up and you see that sign. So some of those things uh, in those key areas, again, at high speeds as we're slowing down. So it's just that reminder, again, slow down, pay attention, and arrive safely. And I don't remember, but in some of those instances, is the traffic stopping and that's when people were crashing? Yes. The accidents um, were We have traffic backing up, you know. One of the times we visited, we've talked about the zipper merge. Yes. Um, and we've got folks backing up a lot in that right lane, but still moving ahead in that left lane. And that's often where these crashes, it's been a, a full speed rear end. Wow. Yeah. Um, and that's been the instance of like, what, how did all these other people know to slow down and mm -hmm. this one driver didn't sure. catch it? So um, yeah, we're doing some of those things, um, you know, just, just to pay attention. And then we have talked about our 511 map. Yep. And that's great, gets you in the, the, the task now of, of looking ahead on your trip uh, for the fall or whatever, mm -hmm. but then winter's going to be coming. <laughs> yes. um, and it's a great one for winter then, you know, yes. with snow and ice. So it's a good, good practice to get in to just check what, what's ahead on your route. Yeah, because once winter hits, it's actually very nice to look at 511 to know what the conditions are like out on the roadways. Is there research that shows when you do have a sign that puts your speed limit up there that people are more apt to slow down? That's the theory, and, and it's part of a research study right now that we're oh, looking okay. at. So, you know, it comes with an addi additional cost, but at the same time, yeah, I think it, it helps identify you personally. It's yeah. not just some static sign. Um, you and notice it, it more. Yeah, and you know, you go, whoa, you know, I better slow down. Um, you know, maybe there's a state patrol up there, so you might get a ticket. You yeah. know, lots of those things just to help you understand where you're at, what your speed is, and, and it, look ahead. Yeah, all right. Anything else you'd like our viewers to know? No, I, I think that's it. Just pay attention. Remember, road work is going to continue into October. Yeah. In the end, it'll be great, but mm -hmm. uh, just keep that patience until we get there. Yes, it's here for at least a month and a half more. Yes. All right, Mike, thank you so much for being here. We have more details on our website, khdc.com. We have a link to 511, or it's pretty easy. You just type in 511. At least yep. that's what I do. Yes, yeah. perfect. <laughs> it's pretty simple. We have much more to come here on Midwest Access, including 